Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a quick comparison between two different Sarah Flint shoe styles. They're both perfect, but which one is perfect for you? What the two styles in question are the Perfect Pump 85 and the taller version of the Perfect Round Toe. I believe it's the 70. I decided to choose the taupe version so you can see the light gray against the taupe. The taupe is a, a nude, beigey gray kind of color from Sarah Flint. And I own the Perfect Pump 85 in, I think, five or six colors. I love this shoe. This is the only one I own in this color, but it does come in a beautiful like chestnut brown, a new Merlot that's really pretty, and black. And I'm sure that there will be more colors in the future as well. So here is how the heels look. Obviously the biggest difference between them is that the toe is round and it's a block heel versus a stiletto heel. So you can see the two different heels. And if you look at the heel height, you can see that the Perfect Pump 85 is taller. Not only that the actual shoe itself is taller, but that the where the heel actually comes up is quite a bit higher. In terms of the toe, you can see the two different shapes that are going on here, but I do wanna talk a little bit about some more specifics in terms of the toes. These shoes together, and I'm holding them from the same place in the shoe, you can see that the Perfect Pump 85 sticks out quite a bit further than the round toe. You can also get an idea of how these look side by side. So although they both have a V-cut vamp, the Perfect Round Toes is rounder. <laughs> it is a less severe cut. And the Perfect Round Toe is about a quarter of an inch wider than the opening of the Perfect Pump. So that is something to keep in mind. I went for a size 36 and a half in this shoe. They say to size up a half size. These are a 36. I agree with that assessment. These are tight on me, even in a 36 and a half. These are also tight, but in a different way. So I do wanna talk about how these shoes fit because based on your foot shape, you might figure out one is better for you than the other. For this shoe, the entire wall around the shoe is padded. So that's the reason that they suggest sizing up a half size. It is definitely thicker than this. The whole shoe itself is also wider than the Perfect Pump is. If you have a wide foot, I don't necessarily recommend this one over this. It depends on where your foot is wide. So for me, I have a wider foot in the middle of my foot. And while this is comfortable, this is not uncomfortable. And because this vamp goes down a little smaller, the other place where my foot is kind of wide is not necessarily the ball of my foot, though that's slightly wider. I My foot lends itself to be slightly wider than average, but not usually wide enough for a wide width shoe. I also have kind of long toes. The toe box for this is quite a bit deeper. So even though it's more narrow, the shoe itself, the way that it curves in works nicely. And I have skinny toes, slightly wider um, uh, ball of my foot, and then I have long toes. So they fit quite nicely in this shape. This one, I find that the toe box is a little short, so my toes are really reaching kind of the end of it, which is a little less comfortable. Also to keep in mind, the arch support, wonderful in both of them, but the arch support in this shoe is slightly wider than this one. So depending on the shape of your foot and how narrow or skinny it is, I find that this one actually, because of the way my toes hit it, the arch support doesn't quite hit in the right place, whereas it does in these. If you have a wider foot with shorter toes, you will likely really like this shoe. If you're like me and you have longer toes, then perhaps this one is better for you. And width wise, I don't think it makes a huge difference. For the back of the shoe, you can see similar design. It's still got this classic kind of Sarah Flint logo on it. And also just to keep in mind, the logos are in slightly different places. I'll show you the sole of the shoe for a second because I wanna talk about this symbol right here and also just show you that the Sarah Flint plaque is gold in this and silver in this. Again, doesn't really make a difference. Both have the rubber, both have all of that going on. This little symbol right here indicates that this is part of their sustainable steps program. So they have taken some steps to make sure that this is a slightly more sustainable version. Although everything is ethically made, 
with fair wages in their Italian factories. This one has slightly more sustainable materials and processes made in the shoe, which I think is very exciting. They are attempting to get all of their shoes in the same line, but they have, you know, they work in different factories. So there's, there's a process to that. So perhaps they will all be sustainable steps in the future, but these ones are right now. So that is it for this quick comparison. I do have a $50 discount code for both of these shoes or anything on the site, which I will link down below. And please do let me know if you have any questions about either of these. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future one. Bye.